One of the most fundamental aspects of the PCB editor is getting objects to snap to the grid. And let's go over how to create and use polar grids in the PCB editor. Along with the global grid, several snap grids can be created and limited to a specific area. Snap grids have a user-defined priority and are applied automatically. Additional grids are created in the Properties panel in the Grid Manager section by clicking on the Add button and selecting the desired grid. In our case, Add Polar Grid. After creating a new grid, double-click on it in the Properties panel. The Polar Grid Editor allows you to view and modify properties for the selected polar grid. In the Grid Settings, we can set the name and priority. You can adjust the values in the Angular Step and Radial Step fields. The Set Radial Step and PCB View button allows you to set the radial step in the work area with the mouse cursor. And you can use Set Origin and PCB View to set the origin of the polar grid interactively. In the display area, the style, lines, dots, and do not draw, and the display color for fine and coarse grid lines are set. A coarse grid is, in fact, an exact grid with an increased step size in accordance with the value selected in the multiplier field. You can choose that every second, fifth, or tenth will be displayed by choosing it in the multiplier dropdown. Angular range is used to set the angle from where the grid will begin to where it will end. For example, if you set start angle to zero and end angle 360, then the grid will be a complete circle. The minimum and maximum values of the radial range determine the extents of the grid relative to the radius. After creating a grid by default, it works for everything except components. When placing or moving any component footprint within the grid, the grid will not be visible. To use this grid to place components, you need to check the Comp checkbox in the Grid Manager section. After that, the component located within the boundaries of this grid will automatically snap and rotate relative to its nodes. Alright, so that was an intro to creating and using polar grids. Thanks for watching.